Hello, 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 welcome back. We've got Forgotten Void back in Rochester with his teammate Doom Beagle in the Uganda. Tier 7 Commonwealth Cruiser with Glenn in the Yorktown Charnorse 43, Charnorse 43, a Hood, and a Ramont on Operation Cherry Blossom. So a really good ship. The last time I believe we saw Void in the Rochester was Raptor Rescue, I believe. And I think that was a three or four star op. I cannot remember. I'm mean, sorry. It was um it was pretty low. I remember Void having to choose between completing the op or just surviving at that point. Well let's see what happens on this. Rochester's a really good ship. It does get Hydro and American Smoke Awaiting and Death AA. All really great consumables for this op. Enemy force detected. Enemy destroyer detected. And it has a typical heavy American reload of about 12 seconds. I think Baltimore's a tad bit faster. I am shocked though that the team hasn't, that the DPM definitely is really low. I mean the Uganda doesn't, I don't think it has the best reload. I don't think it does. Let me check. Yeah. So I would assume it doesn't have the best. It has probably similar reload to Rochester and probably a bit less. Um, I don't have it so I can't really tell. But as far as board goes, is that a comfortable 17k on the DD. That's really good damage, especially when this map is primarily DDs and cruisers. Uganda picks up that, so we have two for Uganda, one for Sharn Horse, and one for Hood. Switches to armor piercing and readies and south for the broadside Mayoko, which should be spawning pretty soon. To be honest, I have not memorized the spawn times on these guys. For the most part, I just get into a position like where Void is, and I drive straight. And once I show up, then I deal with them. Hopefully we can get... Oh, there's the Sharn Horse shells. That might be a bit low. I don't think it is. Oh, Sharn Horse gets a nice hit. That was not low. That was a nice 19k right there. Very good shot. He should be able to pick it up on this next salvo because it will accelerate, so it should drive straight into those shells. Nope. Gotta love it. I think it started turning in and that's what caused it, but the Charn Horse does pick it up. I mean, he does have RPF on there, but RPF is very situational. It really only works good for, I, and I, my personal opinion, ops like Raptor Rescue. Otherwise, other than that, it's really just um, it's an optional skill. Too unnecessary. But I would recommend keeping it on at least one operation ship. Because you never know if you, that one operation ship is going to be the one that gets uh, Raptor Rescue. And he gets 18k right there. Beautiful shot. Should be able to pick it off on the next salvo. Assuming he gets a citadel. Does not get a citadel, just gets solid overpins. Ship is on fire. Mm, if he can get the shot off, he should be able to pick it up before the team snatches it. Snatches it. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. You I think that was a fat cruiser. finger. I don't I don't believe he did. Tend to trust to do that. I guarantee you that was a fat finger. Which, let's be honest, we all fat finger these days. Even I've done it. it on fire. Sometimes, you know, I've played another ship like in randoms, and I've had my consumables set up, so I go to press that button, and it ends up like, especially like in Margon, Margon I meant to trigger the speed boost once. I triggered the reload booster. So it's, so there's, and you still got three charges left. It's not like it's a big deal. He just literally needs to have one charge for the first wave of aircraft, 
and one charge for the second wave of aircraft, and then he's fine. Gun crews are on normal alert. And at the rate that reload is, that cooldown is at, it will be definitely ready by the time those uh, planes show up. He did lose about half of his health, though, so that did hurt. But he did still end up getting 103k. So it evens out. DD should be showing up pretty damn soon. He's got HE loaded, so now it's just a waiting game. If he moves in too close, the Aki and the cruisers will shoot him. But this is Forgotten Void, remember folks. He knows these ops as well as I do. And to an extent, he knows a little bit more about them than I do. So I also would recommend checking out his channel. Wonderful 5k. Secondary is going off. That's only going to add more damage to his total. Another nice 5k. Does he get the kill though? Does the team snag that one from him though? He does pick it up. He does pick it up. Enemy destroyer foundered. Now, I would keep the tactic he's doing in mind, folks. That is actually not a bad tactic. A little short on those, on the, some of those, but he did still take about 4k off of it. It adds up. Oh, so close. Oh, it would have been funny if a secondary got it. trying to hip fire the, the airfield hypothetically absolutely yes he can do it but I think he only had a slight window there so as you can see now he hits the rock is it absolutely possible to do it yes absolutely but it's always advisable to have a spotting aircraft. Spotting aircraft makes it a little bit, but we do see shells are clearing that, that, that bridge there. He has two cruisers aiming at him. Incoming shots. Now the Aki's shooting him. That will whittle down itself, so he could choose to pop a smoke. And we do see that the Northern Aerodrome is taking Smoke damage. Generator started. So he's basically able to farm it from inside the smoke. Ship is on he's got fire. a double fire. Gun crews are on full alert. But I mean, look at the health. There's only 6,000. There's not a lot of HP. But we do see that the Def AA is starting to kick in, and it is just shredding some blade for him. So he's getting some nice XP there. Smoke screen set. It looks like about 18 planes on the first wave. Not bad, not bad. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on. We're gonna have enough help alert. to engage the second wave of aircraft. 
So that whoop is unfortunate. It's a nice 13k there. Wonderful strike. Wonderful strike. Thankfully, he, they have not hit smoke firing Torpedo's penalty yet. Front. Oh, it just turned out. Those would have hit too. Torpedoes direct. Those front. look real good. That should be a dead kill. Yep, dead kill. Nice. Enemy cruiser foundered. Still got 20, 20 seconds on his smoke. Can he get some more damage in on that? There's a nice 6k there. Did go undetected there. Planes are coming in. There's one aiming at him. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Only one unfortunate fortune on the Not multiple. That's probably going to save him. Charnurse is the one uh, taking all the damage. Looks like he went up to about 30 plane kills. Looks like Hood activated its defensive fire because that's a lot of defensive fire. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Oh. Not enough to kill him, not enough to kill him. Barely, barely. If he had taken one shell, extra shell, or maybe a few extra shells, he would have died. That is um, a little bit of luck. And luckily those torps ran out. Hundred and seventy five K. Now, practically everything is out of range for him, so he has to kind of go back in if he wants more damage. But he is, he's got about half of his health back. Looks like Glenn is going after the sea of the, uh, the aerodrome, which is the southern one. Oh, that would have been nice if it had hit. Does that look like he drops a smoke screen for Roy? That would be very nice if he had dropped a smoke screen. That would probably be the Aki right there. Yep.
Smoke generator started. Oh, we dropped the smoke screen for the rest of the team. Action with that kill, so wonderful job. Should turn into those shells. Mm, it did, but just a little high, I thought. Vermont goes down. But he crossed 201 k So, Mr. Void picks up over a million credits, a nice amount of free XP, natu natural selection, C star and assistant, team score. Sean Horse beats him just barely by 23. He gets that because he's a tier 7. But shot down 32 planes, 14 26. Not a bad game. I would call that redemption. In the Rochester, for sure. Yeah, no, there's literally the Mayoko, the Aoba, and the Yuhagi. Those three took most of his HP away. The Aki took about 7,100 from him. Still made just shy of a million credits, so we'll round it up to a million credits. Was running a red booster. When with the 21 point commander, that's 23,000 elite commander XP. So a very nice game from Void. Very nice game.